Hello, hello. Lesson nine now, collective nouns. Uh, we have nouns, you know what nouns are, but what is collective? Okay, so collective is something that a lot of things are together, like a piled up thing. So many things together, objects or animals or people. Lots of things together, people together, or animals together. You know, a bunch of it. So let's go for the first one. Um, we have a herd, okay? We have a group of animals in general. Pack, a group for uh, culinary animals such as wolves, dogs, or we can say like a pack of cards as well, or a deck of cards. Then we have flock, which is for um, birds, and I think it's very beautiful. Look at the flock, you know, look at the flock of birds, you know, lots of birds together. Uh, we have a shoal, which is a group for fish. We could say a shoal of fish, or we could just say a school of fish as well. So a school, like a you know a bound English school, or a shoal of fish. Uh, I'm not sure why it's school though, but you know it's nice. It's different. Uh, it makes people confused. Uh, and then we have a swarm, which is a group of insects. Like look at that swarm of bees. Oh my God, it's gonna sting you. So be careful of the sw uh, swarm of bees. Swarm. With an M at the end. A group. So a group is in general, you can have a group of things, objects, or we can have a group of people. A group of animals, just an ordinary group of whatever it is you want to, you know, name it. If you don't know the correct words for it, to describe it, if it's for people or animals, you can just say it's a group of things. Except for, you know, a group of paper. I don't think that will work out very well, will it? Then we have a crowd. Okay, this is a crowd of people. Okay, like, imagine that you, you want to use it in the past. Oh, my God. I went to the show last night. And it was so bloody crowded with an ED at the end. Then it's okay. But a crowd, mainly lots of people together, like a multitude. And then we have a gang. A gang of people, basically. We can have, I think we can have good gangs, but normally gangs of criminals. Uh, so, oh, here's my gang. Okay, but, you know, mainly the word was used for bad people, you know, criminals, people who do things that's not legitimately right or correct under the law of whichever citizen or country you're in. So don't be part of a gang, just a good one. Mob. Uh, hmm, this one's funny. Do you know those Italian guys like um, The Godfather? And then they wear like really nice clothes and you look at them like, oh, this is a you know, real businessman. They're very good people, honored family, you know, the mobs, they, you know, they kill people for business. They do like crazy stuff. So you can say like, oh, it's an Italian mob. It's a Russian mob. That's just, you know, basically to describe one of them. So remember the mafia, remember the mobs. Then we have a staff. Do you know when you go to a restaurant or... Any other establishment, they have like staff only. The staff is only for the people who works in a particular, uh, particularly company or place. So if they have like, if you see a, st uh, a sign saying staff only, stay out of it. It's just for the people who works in that place. Okay. So it's a group of people who works in a corporate business place in general. And then we have a crew. Mm, this is like a technical crew. Uh, imagine people who work like in the offshore businesses, FPSOs in general. So normally they, they are part of a crew. If it's uh, automation or mechanical, you know, oh, this is the crew of the specialists, uh, the SWAT team or, you know, just the crew, like a specific uh, group of people who works in a specific area. Uh, then we have a choir. You know, once I was part of a choir in the church. But today I don't sing at all. My voice has faded. You know, it's a gift and I don't have it anymore. So that's a choir. I think it's very beautiful. They sing beautifully together. Not necessarily just in church. But, you know, it's a group of people who sings together. Basically, they sing very... Normally, they sing very nicely. And then we have an orchestra. I think everybody heard of an orchestra. It's very, pe uh, very beautiful. You have people who dressed up really nicely. And they play like violins and... So many other instruments, it's beautiful. I cry every time I see one. I've never been to one, just on YouTube. Okay. Uh, then we have a panel. This is like a group of experts, basically, okay? A board, which is like a group of people, like a board meetings, many on businesses and stuff. Uh, 
bunch what is a bunch okay so we can have like a bunch of uh, flowers, a bunch of grapes, a bunch of keys, a bunch of bananas. In Portuguese we have specific words for all of them, but in English we don't, so it's a bunch of things. A uh, pile is something which is like, for example, imagine all of this rubbish together, it's like a, you know, look at, look at this bin, it's so piled up with rubbish. So it's a pile, lots of things together, like unclean stuff. Uh, we have a set as well. So sets, things that we describe for dishes, like, oh, look at this set of dishes. I think it's so beautiful, you know, the ones that people normally get for weddings. Um, Personal, those kind of things. Yeah, that's a set of dishes, I'm guessing, or cutleries. <clears throat> then we have a stack, like a stack of books, when things are neatly put in together. Series, it's like uh, when you watch Netflix, you watch a series of stuff, which is like, you know, it has a sequence of stuff, like series of books, just a series of things together. Uh, and then we have a shower, a shower of rain, or, you know, uh, like a baby shower, just to describe lots of things together. And we have a fall, like a fall uh, to discuss weather, such as rain as well, or hail or snow, it's like it's falling, so, you know, it's interesting as well. Uh, have a look at all of this once, okay, uh, study them, make some exercises with them as well. I'm going to repeat all of them so we can practice the pronunciation, okay? So we have Heart, pack, flock, swarm, show, group, crowd, gang, mob, staff, crew, choir, orchestra, panel, board, troop, oh, group of acrobats, okay, in a circus, uh, bunch, pile, heap, set, stack, series, shower, fall, practice that, create sentences, send it to me, thank you all, and please put it in affirmative, negative, and interrogative, just so you can practice a little bit more, create five of each, okay, Thank you so much, La not last lesson, next lesson we're going to be looking at collective nouns again, but we're going to be doing some exercises, so do that, okay? Thank you, bye!